Hello, ladies, gentlemen, everything in between and neither. Today I want to talk about, well, you guessed right, because you're here watching me, about video games. And during this time, it's best to stay at home. And video games really help with that. And before I get started, I want to do a little shout out to my friends over at Games and Groceries. They already did a video on how video games can distract us in times like this. And by the time you're watching this, they will probably have their follow-up video about the same topic up on their YouTube channel and the podcast platforms you can find them on. I'm gonna link it up there or there. I'm not sure where the little button is, but I'm gonna link them and give them a like, subscribe to them. They are great. And so I wanna get into my video now, so let's go. Um, the games I will be listing are in no particular order, so this is like no top 10. It's not even 10 games. Um, if you count series entries as single games, it's way above 10 games, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. Um, and my first recommendation is the Uncharted series. It's great, it's fun, you see new places, and if you like Indiana Jones and haven't played Uncharted yet, if you like video games, what the fuck are you even doing? Well, you probably don't have a PlayStation if you haven't played those games and like Indiana Jones. So, if you haven't played them already, go play them. And if you have played them and want to replay them, I have a special recommendation for you. And that is playing them in the order that, that I've played them for the first time. Because if you remember the epilogue of the fourth game, it super makes sense to play them for one, two, three. So maybe try that. And we're going to the next game. And yes, while this is probably hitting a little bit close to home right now, why not replay The Last of Us to be prepared for when part two comes out once all this hopefully is over? It's a great game, it's got stealth, it's got action, it has a great story, great characters. What else do you want more to take your mind off things for a little bit? My next recommendation would be Life is Strange. It's a really nice series. It's fun, it's relatively Peaceful-ish. I mean, it's it has strong topics, but it's no real action game you that makes you all tense. So it's nice. My next recommendation is yes, it is it's a little bit quick fire because I still have some chores to do, which you shouldn't forget while you're playing games. Please be responsible. My next recommendation is the Assassin's Creed series. And with traveling being kind of cancelled right now, why not put in some Assassin's Creed game? Was it ancient Greece, Egypt, old industrial London? I think that's where Syndicate is set in. We have France, we have... Italy, we have um, America, there's a lot of places you can visit thanks to the Assassin's Creed games and especially Odyssey and Origins with their museum modes or what they are called. It's pretty great and you get a little history lesson so that's pretty neat and recommendable. And yeah, so let's get on to my next recommendation. And that is my most replayed game ever. It's Skyrim. Surprise, surprise, I've played it so many times, I still have to make a video about it. 
and yeah, so I love Skyrim. It it takes you to a whole nother place. You, as in all video games, are the hero of the story. It's got dragons and magic and swords and bow and arrow, which I always love, and bows and arrows immediately bring me to Tomb Raider and Horizon Zero Dawn, which are also great games that take your mind off things and keep you distracted for a really long time, because they are big games and great games, and speaking of big games that basically never end, why not make a whole new world in Minecraft? Build something great. Rebuild your hometown if you want. Stardew Valley is out there and now new out on the Switch is Animal Crossing, which I haven't bought yet, but I will definitely someday. You could replay old series like the original Mass Effect trilogy. You could try playing Red Dead Redemption in full chronological order. There's so much out there and there are so many great games and I'm so thankful that this medium is out there and, and is form of entertainment I've found for myself because usually with books and movies and TV shows it's always a little bit passive and... My brain is not really made for being passive because like usually like when I watch a new show or something I always have like some mildly distracting game on the second screen like for example I just started watching I'm not okay with this on Netflix and during that Watching, I played some Stardew Valley on my PS4 because I was just busy fishing and grinding up money because even though it makes me feel bad, I want that JoJo achievement. So that's that. Go, go out, boot up your console, do some achievement hunting. Replay games you've always wanted to replay but haven't found the time to do so. Maybe try out a new game. There are lots of sales out there right now. And yeah, so that's my video. I hope you liked my recommendations. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below what games can you recommend. Subscribe if you haven't already and... Until I figured out what I can upload next, watch my other stuff. Stay safe, stay at home if you can, and if you go out, wash your damn hands.